What's up guys? Just wanted to say good morning. Uh, you guys are awesome. I love everybody out there. And just want to talk about social distancing in maybe a different perspective or a different way. So I do hope that everyone is practicing social distancing. You're uh, washing your hands, using hand sanitizer, doing all the things our medical experts are telling us. Uh, please stay safe out there. Um, as I was thinking about this, um, it came to me that there's no issue most of us have with listening to the medical experts, practicing social distancing, staying away, six feet rule, all that. Um, however, we're more hesitant to practice dis distancing uh, from some things God tells us to um, and getting close to some things that God tells us to. So just wanted to share some things about that. Um, are we ready to listen? Are we ready to trust him? So three things I want to look at uh, on some things to distance ourselves from. First thing is from some bad company. It's simple. Watch out who you hang with. Uh, people can bring you down. People can uh, uh, harm you in the relationships you have. So please be careful about who you hang with. Uh, I just want you to take a couple minutes after this and think about who are your relationships? Who are you uh, hanging with? Are they bringing you closer to Christ? Are they lifting you up? Are they challenging you to be a better version of yourself or are they dragging you down? Are they encouraging you to do things that um, aren't good for you in your life? Uh, 1 Corinthians 15, says, don't be misled, bad company corrupts good character. So think about who you hang with. Um, Psalm 1 says, blessed is the man who doesn't walk in the counsel of the wicked or the ungodly or stand in the way of sinners. So Again, think about who you're hanging with. Um, 1 Corinthians 5.11 also says, I was talking about your own people who are immoral or greedy or worship idols or curse others or get drunk or cheat. Don't even eat with them. So uh, God just wants to protect you and make sure you are surrounding yourself with people that will make you better. Um, number two, distance yourselves who people uh, that bring division. Uh, we can look at the church. We can also look at our own lives or at work. Uh, there are a lot of negative people. Uh, it says misery loves company. Um, so in the church, Titus 3, 9-11 says, Don't get involved in foolish discussions about spiritual pedigree or in quarrels and fights about obedience to Jewish laws. These things are useless and a waste of time. If people are causing divisions among you, give first and second to warning. After that, have nothing more to do with them. For people like that have turned away from the truth and their own sins condemn them. Um, and again, for us, make sure that we're being people of peace and not division. Um, in our personal lives, Jude 1, 16 to 19 says, These people are grumblers and complaining, living only to satisfy their desires. They brag loudly about themselves and they flatter others to get what they want. But you, my dear friends, must remember what the apostles of Jesus Christ predicted. They told you in the last times there would be scoffers, whose purpose in life is to satisfy their own ungodly desires. These people are the ones who are created creating division among you. They follow their natural instincts because they don't have God's spirit in them. And finally, Mark 3.24 says, if a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. Finally, distance your dating relationships with unbelievers. If you're a Christian, if you uh, followed Jesus Christ, um, he wants what's best for you. Not about law, not about religion, not about rules. It's about hey, I am the creator of the universe and I want what's best for you in your relationship, especially your future mate. Uh, 2 Corinthians 6, 14 to 18 says, Don't team up with those who are unbelievers. How can righteousness be a partner with wickedness? How can light live with darkness? What harmony can there be between Christ and the devil? How can a believer be a partner with an unbeliever? And what union can there be between God's temple and idols? For we are the temple of the living God. As God said, I'll live in them and walk among them. I'll be their God and they will be my people. Therefore, come out from among and separate yourselves from them. So uh, many times we hear things or we read scripture or go to church. And if it conflicts with what we want to do, we sometimes do what we want to do. But God wants what's best for your life. So please, please listen to him. Uh, I've learned it in my own life that his ways are the best ways. Three quick things on what we should get close to. Number one, God himself. Uh, we want to distance ourselves from those three things, but now we want to get close to three things, and we want to draw near to God. James 4, 8 to 10 says, So let God work his will in you. Yell a loud no to the devil and watch him scamper. Say a quiet yes to God and he'll be there in no time. Quit dabbling in sin. Purify your inner life. Quit playing the field. 
hit bottom and cry your eyes out. The fun and games are over. Get serious, really serious. Get down on your knees before the master. It's the only way you'll get on your feet. Secondly, get around people that will make you better, that'll challenge you, that'll encourage you um, in your walk. Um, Proverbs 27, 17 says, you use, you use steel to sharpen steel and one friend sharpens another. Uh, and another version is like iron sharpens iron. So get friends around you that will challenge you if you step out of line and be mature enough to uh, say you're right and, and accept it. Uh, and finally, surround yourself with wise people. Proverbs 13, 20 says, become wise by walking with the wise, hang out with fools and watch your life fall to pieces. So in conclusion, let's distance ourselves from what we need to and draw close to those things that will enhance our lives and make us better. I want to encourage you a song I heard this morning by Reba McIntyre called Back to God. Uh, I think it's very relevant for this time in our country. Um, I'm not much of a country person, but I thought it was uh, an extremely insightful song. Uh, finally, love you all. Be smart, stay safe, and wash your hands.